Today we're making a Halloween tree. Keep watching. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna make the chain garland that's gonna go around, and I'm just gonna take three different kinds of ribbons and cut them into four inch strips. These came from, uh, two of the ribbons came from Dollar Tree, and then the one with the little ghost in the boo over there, I think originally came from Target, and I believe that I got that at Dirt Cheap. So I have a little measuring tape there on the edge of my table. I'm just measuring off my strips. We're not gonna do anything special to the edges of this. We're not gonna dovetail them or anything like that. Just cut them straight across. All right, so now we're gonna start the chain. We're gonna start with one loop. You can use any pattern that you like. I've got my little fingertips to protect my fingers from the glue. I got those from Dollar Tree in the crafter section. Just gonna add a dot of glue and then I'm overlapping maybe a quarter of an inch, somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. I'm not gluing the chain to itself, I'm gluing each link. So there's some movement in there if you see that. So I have an orange, a black, and a white. And I've decided for my pattern that I want to have a black link between it, every one. So there'll be a black and a white and an orange, black, white, orange, sort of like that. Just be really careful with the glue. So a lot of opportunities to burn your fingerprints off. I guess you could use a, a little mini stapler if you wanted to on this. It'd probably make it quicker, and but then it, it also might snag on the other pieces of ribbon, and that's just a mess. I always have my glue gun over there. It's very easy for me to hook up, and every time I come down to craft, I go ahead and plug it in whether I think I need it or not. Abracadabra. There's the chain. All right. And then I have a bow that I am making now, and these are in six inch strips. I did three of each of the same colors as a chain. Then I'm just going to stack these up. This is easy, you've seen this bow before. Got just a piece of twine here that was left over from something else. You're gonna hold these firmly and bunch them together. If you don't hold them tight, they're just gonna stack and you're gonna lose your shape. So hold them tight and then kind of squinch them up together in your fingers. All right, so I'm making my tie. See, I'm gonna hold that with my index finger and there you go. Now the bow can be pulled apart and fluffed out a little bit. I don't know if you actually call this a bow. Is this a bow? I don't know. I think it's a bow. Okay, so next I'm just getting my other little things I wanna use as ornaments. And I have some of these little pumpkins left out of this pack. And they came from, I think Dollar General. And then these, I believe were originally from Target. And here are my two white Christmas trees. Yes, they are Christmas trees. If you use one, it is gonna be very sparse. So we're gonna put two together. I'm gonna to show you how to do that the easiest way I can, I can imagine. I've seen people put them together at the same time and fluff them out, but nope, I think this was easier. It worked better with the way I think. So you're gonna leave it flat on one side and you're gonna fluff everything out and upward. So see, I have it laying flat. 
and everything is going to come up. All right, and we're going to do the next one. Leaving one side flat and everything coming up and out. Now you have two halves of the tree flat on one side, so you can easily put them together. So I'm going to use my zip ties to do this. See there's the flat sides, and look there, look at that full tree. Yes, $2 at Dollar Tree, there you go. You can also use the same idea for Christmas. Gonna zip tie in three places. Gonna do the middle and then you'll see me do the top. And the, toward the bottom, or what would be the trunk area. You're gonna trim off your excess. These are white zip ties and you really don't even see them in the tree. They just kind of disappear after you get them in that white tree. I don't want this to fall over or fall apart. So, you know, maybe you don't need as many ties as I use, but you know, you do you. Okay, so one of these trees are a little bit longer than the other one. So I have enough room to put it back on the base. And I'm just gonna sit it down in there. And yep, I like that. I think that'll work. So I'm gonna add lights to the tree. These lights I've had for a long, 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 long time. I don't even know originally where they came from. You can get these at Dollar Tree. You can get all kinds of cute ones with bats and skeletons and pumpkins. You do whatever you like to do. Be sure that you test them before you put them on your tree though, because it's a pain in the behind to have to take them all back off. You want to put the lights in first because you don't want to have anything else interfere with your lights. Then I'm going to put the chain on. I could have made the chain a lot longer and it would have been a lot thicker, but that is not what I was going for, so, you know. All right, these little pumpkins have a hole in the bottom. I'm cutting pieces of a chenille stem that is also orange and just a little hot glue and putting that right in the bottom. I'm going to twist these onto the tree, but you can also hot glue directly onto the tree and you'll see that here shortly. So I'm gonna space these out around the tree and just twist them on and push them down on the branch so they sit still. Okay, these are some picks that I had, some type of a decorative pick. I just cut the little fluff off. They're kind of, uh, they're, I would say glittery, but they have some shiny, spiky areas and they look really cute. And then here is some table scatter or vase filler from Dollar Tree. You get a ton in that bag. They are glittery. There's a little fallout, but it's not too bad. And I just want to put those directly onto the tree. Just a little dot on the bottom. And if you need to, and you're sloppy with your glue, you, you use too much glue maybe, you want to use those little pink fingertips again to protect yourself. Because it will get hot and burn you if you're not careful. So we're just gonna keep going like this around the tree, putting the little orange ones on, putting the little black ones on. You can go further into your tree. You can put them further out on the limb, however you wanna do that. Just fill it in to your heart's desire. I also have these little witch's hats that I used in another project. They're stickers, they came from Dollar Tree. I just added a few little dots of well, those little table scatters on there. And then I'm putting a little glue on the bottom and just holding it so it will dry on the branch. Now I'm gonna make some little squigglies for the top. I'm out of frame here, but I'm gonna put some steel shots in so you can see what these are being used for. So it's a Chanel stem, I wrapped it around the pick. I'm pulling it out a little bit and then it is going to go on the top where our bow went. So if you look up to the top corner there, you can see these sticking out the top. I'm gonna to make another orange one and then I'm going to make two black ones. 
You just use a little hot glue and stick it to your bow. So I've looked around my tree and I see a couple little spots that need a little extra, so I'm just adding to it. Now I wanna make a pretty base. So I'm using this bucket from the Dollar Tree. I am using this foam block, maybe from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure where it came from. I'm just going to glue this down and then I've taken a floral stem and just bent it over like a bobby pin or a hair pin, sticking it through the little hole there in the tree base and holding it down. Until that glue dries, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna take some leftover paper that's just actually brown packing paper that came with something we ordered. I think with my Grove. And then two Halloween scarves from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put those inside. Now I wanna do a little something extra to that bucket, so I'm going to take some of this mesh that also came from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut it long enough to tie it to make a pretty little bow. And actually, once I started tying it, I realized you don't even need a bow. It'll curl back on itself and it looks like you've already put some effort into a bow. This is our final result. This thing is so cute and better than I imagined that it would be. I absolutely love it. It fits in perfect with the rest of my decor with my black, orange, and white themes. I have lots of videos with that. Oh, I can't wait for Halloween. It's just a few days before October and I'm so excited. Who's excited for Halloween? Give me a big thumbs up. I wanna hear it. Comment below so far, what is your favorite Halloween project that we have done on my channel? Be sure you subscribe because I have more coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.